Hello and welcome to Harvard Place. And this is gonna be our last episode for the year. And I first I thought I was gonna do something, you know, sentimental and a bit uh, more family orientated. And then I thought about it, and I don't know any um, sentimental or family orientated games. So instead, I figured I would um, check out the Switch eShop and see what kooky, interesting game I could find. And luckily, there was this one that appeared right this morning called Kooky Yomi Consider It. And I know basically nothing about this game. All I think I know about this game is it's about manners. It's about having good manners. That's all I know about it. And also, in excellent news, a early Christmas gift to myself has been this capture card. So we can now go through this ridiculous backlog of Switch games. And there's so much stuff that we could dig into and take a look at. So definitely something to look forward to next year. I've got so much I want to do, lots of plans. Maybe I even want to do some retro gaming, so we can look at the uh, the Switch, SNES, and NES for people who don't have people who don't have enough time with that, or the Sega Genesis games. Or there's so much retro on Switch that I definitely want to cover. But without further ado, let's get into whatever this is, and yeah, let's discover it for the first time. So we've got consider it, quick consider it, consider it together. I guess we'll just play regular consider it. There is a space where you are free to consider things as you like. There is no one here to stop you from being as considerate as you please. I like this game already. After considering the situation, move the red object on the screen. Sometimes there may be nothing to move, just do what you consider to be the appropriate action. If you wish to stop playing, just press the plus button or the minus button. Okay. Number one. Okay, so I'm on a train, and there's a group of people coming together. Maybe I move a bit to the to the left, but I don't want to touch the guy over there. Oh, that was it. Okay, so I have to move my thing to the left to set the dominoes off in time. This is very different to what I thought it would be. <laughs> So it's just like, it's just a game about behaving and obeying people's commands. Oh, because someone's coming up from behind, so I guess... No! What? <laughs> what am I doing? Number five. Okay, there is a, a group of geese flying in a line. I guess I should join my spot in that line. I'm being so considerate. Um, I'm enjoying this game. It's very polite. Okay, so I am plainly considerate. Number six. S what? <laughs> I didn't think this was going to be a Christmas themed game, but... Okay, I guess I'm supposed to lie down and pretend I'm asleep so Santa can give me toys. Okay. Number seven. Can I take your order? Oh, it's a lot of beer. Okay. So... What am I supposed to do? <laughs> I guess I have to behave like everyone else and pick up beer? Number eight. Okay, that's me. What do I do? Oh, so I need to hit the bell to get the server to come. Because I'm closest to the button. Okay. It's me. What? <laughs> so so we need there's four of us and there's three girls and we need to choose somebody. Oh, it's too slow too. Okay. They get the last pin will you go out with me? Yeah, okay. So you play as the bowling pin and you knock yourself over <laughs> before the ball even touches it. <laughs> okay, so I'm very vaguely considerate. I get a Santa Claus out of that. Okay, I think there's a hundred challenges in this game and I don't want to spoil it for everybody, so I might just play something like 25. 
Ah, what was it meant to do? <laughs> I'll play like 25 and then I'll move on to a different game because this is infuriating me now. Okay, so I'm the red dude. I need to stand. Bow. Be seated. <laughs> okay, I enjoy this. The only thing I don't like is that there's no failure option, so there's no funny thing that happens if you... Oh, okay, uh, move, move away, move away, move away, move away, move <laughs> away. There's no failure option, so there's no funny animation that happens if you really screw up. Like in Rhythm Heaven, which is a game I, I like a lot. Okay, so there's a ghost and I'm typing my phone. Oh, <laughs> so it's considered of me to be scared. Okay. This one's easy, you gotta participate in the wave. You don't wanna be that one guy who doesn't participate in the wave. This is going for a long time. Okay, never mind. Yes, we were very considerate. Moderately considerate. <laughs> this guy's face is great. We should make a meme out of this this pose. Okay, number 16. So walking down the street, there's an umbrella. Oh, so you move, oh, that's, that's actually a really nice thing to do. I think I would notice that if someone did that for me in public, at least from now on. Cause they got wet for themselves, they got wet themselves so that I wouldn't get wet. That's really nice of them. Okay. Oh man, I gotta get off at the next stop, doki doki. <laughs> Next is the final stop, you're on a bus terminal. Oh, you need to press the button. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's considerate. Number 18. Okay, so there's a boyfriend and girlfriend. I guess we just move to the side. I'll let them sit down. Wait, what? What? Oh, because they would have been split by the pole. Okay, so we can either go to Robocon or a Romcom. Or a Robocon or Romcom. I feel like that's kind of sexist, because what if your girlfriend likes Robocons more? I don't know how I'd call that considerate. Okay, so I'm with my girlfriend now, and am I meant to walk on the other side of her? What? Okay. I don't know if that's considerate. What did I get? Very vaguely considerate. Oh no. Okay, so the next five games, so my final five games with this title, I have to get maximum consideration. I am motivated. Okay, good morning, Val. What? <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have no idea what I would do in that situation. Okay, Japanese samurai is weaker than great elderly. Was that what? I couldn't even do anything in that one. Okay, so... Oh, so you need to slow down so you're working at the same pace. This is actually infuriating in real life. Because sometimes in real life, I just... You know... You want to go somewhere faster than the person you're with. Today is another date. I guess we could think of them as a couple now. Oh, so it's like an ongoing story. Oh, that's cute. They were heading towards an anime when suddenly he turned towards a romance movie. He seems naive. He builds up his courage and takes a hand. It seems like they are really dating now. So, is the considerate thing to kiss him or to move slightly away? <laughs> yes. Okay, so, yeah, you would look away. You would look. Go. go no! <laughs> Okay, that was very inconsiderate of me. What did I get? In some way or another, considerate. This game is being very, very considerate. It's not telling me that I suck, because that was a really bad show of consideration. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop. I don't want to spoil the rest of this game. It's like $3. I absolutely recommend it. It's so funny. And apparently there's like a mode that you can do it with a friend too, so the two of you together can be considerate. And it's just... Yeah, I really like this. I, 
the game says it's about showing Japanese culture, but I think it's more of a satire of how their society sees things. Because me as a Westerner who has been to Japan, but I completely bungled myself in the cultural interactions and just, you know, being not a jerk in public. It's funny to see that there's all these kind of unspoken rules that I'm supposed to have understood. And a few of them I got because, you know, general human beings. And a few of them I didn't because what the hell was that samurai one, you know? So, yeah, that was a thing. Anyway, how long has that, has that been? It's been like, what, 15 minutes? Less than that? It's been 11 minutes. Okay, we're gonna play something else. And I'm just gonna cut the time before we go to the next game because they don't want to spoil what I have in store for everyone here. <laughs> okay, welcome back to Harvard Plays. We are on our second weird game for today, and I've taken a look through my collection and I feel like we can do three weird games today. So here's our second one called Toridama Brave Challenge. And it's actually very similar to the first one we played. So the one we just played was about being considerate and figuring out how you should act in certain social situations. And this one is about being brave and risking it all for absolute glory. I don't know if they're by the same developer. It's just a very sim similar look. Anyways, we'll go for the single player mode. It's This game is, to be honest, way more fun in two player because you can laugh at each other, but you can play the games by yourself if, if you want and if you have an audience online or something. Okay, so here's question one. Pull the cage just because just before the monster fish breaks it down. Check a chicken level with three questions. Okay, so you press button to pull it up. Wait, what? Oh, so you need to, whoa. And wait for whoa, what is happening? Okay, so we're being attacked by angry sea turtles. Our, our life bar is going down because of all these angry, bloodthirsty sea turtles. And friendly ones too. Don't mean to be mean. Okay, this couple is really angry now. Oh, okay. How do we do? Eight thousand. Nice. That's a good score. Yep, so all this game is, is effectively, you want to wait for the last minute, and then you want to do something. Okay, so pour the juice without spilling. And so sometimes you have a delay on your actions too. It's Starbird's juice. Oh, that's so close. It's so close that the animations are wrong. Wait, what? It's only 6,000 points. So I could have filled it more than that. Okay, I see how it is. Question three, chicken soul fantasy, beat the monster. What? Okay, so it's like Final Fantasy. You can either attack or escape. Oh, that's so hard. Okay, so I missed it. I took three damage. So we need to get the red line this time. Nice. Oh, that's so good, okay. So we're just gonna get one more red line and we beat it. Oh, come on, that's not fair. It's like double the speed of last time. <laughs> okay. One more try and then we die. Or we could just escape. What do we get if we escape? 2,000 points, poor. Okay. I see how it is. My chicken level is 45%. <laughs> I got an ostrich rank. Okay, ostrich is famously known for sticking their heads in the ground the second they get scared. Okay, I'm going to do better next time. New questions are available, alright. And you can unlock a list of games as well. It's This is also very much like WarioWare, where there's a bunch of different mini games, and all, at the end you're ranked on this. It reminds me a bit of Brain Training actually, that um the game for the DS where you can prove how smart you are, except instead of how smart in this game you're proving how much of a a risky idiot that you are. Okay, so you're surprised when the ghost press the button to exercise. <laughs> Amazing! Okay. Oh, so you just need to hit the button the sec- Oh, okay. <laughs> That's so good! <laughs> so 
So you went to sleep with a, with a chainsaw and hockey mask, and then you scared off a ghost. And I only got 6,000 points for it, but it was really hard because the ghost just disappeared halfway through. Ah, oh, this game, man. Do you know, it reminds me of that scene from The Simpsons where Bart's trying to go to sleep, and then his dad, come, like Homer, comes in to cut him a brownie, and he shows the knife through the door, and it's really scary. And then he puts on a chainsaw and a hockey mask. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm not going to link the scene because that's going to get this video taken down, but you know what I mean. Simpsons fans will know what I mean. Okay, Mount Fuji dive. Time well opening the parachute. I remember this one's really hard. Because parachutes have a delay to them. Okay, we did it. Yes! 7,000 points. Yeah, I've seen that if you open it too late, you just fall straight through the ground and you leave like a person-shaped hole, so... We did it just on time. Drill on ice. Spin as much as you can. What? Oh, okay, I messed that one up. <laughs> Negative 9,000 points. Well, let's see how I rank for that one. My chicken level is... Oh, I understand. So, a hundred percent, a hundred percent chicken is bad, and zero percent chicken is good, and I got chickpea rank once in hummus. Okay, you know I do actually kind of want some hummus, but not now. We've we're still busy proving to the world that we're brave. Question one: Pretzel game. Protect your first precious first kiss. Oh, so it's like Pocky game, but because of copyright, they're not allowed to say the word Pocky. Did we kiss? Oh no, we missed. Okay. <laughs> they ate that Pocky really fast. Okay, this one we know how to play now. This one we want to spin and don't hit us a lot. Okay. Oh, we got bears. Oh, that was really good. We got 9,000 points. It offsets on negative 9,000 from last game. Crocodile Zoo 2, attract the monster, aiming to get the food, and escape as late as you can. Okay, so one of them is gonna try and get me. Did we get eaten? We got eaten. Oh, damn it. Okay. So that's two fails in this one. What's our points? Negative 10. <laughs> Our chicken level is 136%, we got an albatross. I don't understand, albatrosses are good. Some are great, oh, some not so much. How is an albatross less brave than the chickpea? New questions are available. Okay, we're gonna try it a few more times. I know this game has less mini games than the considerate one, but I'm motivated to get really brave, whereas it wasn't that motivated to be considerate. Okay. So Crocodile Zoo, I think this is just the same as last one, because it's only one crocodile. Okay, this is way easier. So we only have one thing to look out for. He's just gonna advance at a very... Um... Oh, got it! Nice! Full marks! Legendary meat lover. Well, I am a legendary meat lover. Okay, question two. The original chicken run two. Stop right before the collision. Goodness, this is terrifying. They're not moving though. Oh wait, you know they—they they are. Okay, I'm gonna break now. Okay, eight thousand points is pretty good. I think we're gonna get a good rating if we don't screw up this game. Kill the king within time limit. Okay, press the button to hide. Oh, so it's just red light, green light. What? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, we were on such a good run! Our chicken level is... 73, colored chick like a rainbow. Okay, one more try. Question one, Toridama surprise theater. Stop the bomb just before the time limit. Okay, 
press the button to stop. Seems easy enough. Oh, I remember now. So the... Yeah, you stop seeing the timer. I should have been counting in my head. Three seconds. Uh, okay, let's see how we did. 3,000 points. We could have been closer. Okay, so we know what to do for this game now. We want to hold the hide button when the guy turns around. Hup. a really good disguise. Okay, 8,500 is pretty good. Question 3, Magma Kitchen. Grilled the meat within the time limit. Okay, press the button to go back. Okay, so you just don't want to walk yourself into the lava. I did pretty well. Or not, okay. I don't understand why that was so low. Better than last time, we get 56. Fried chicken, it's okay to lick your fingers. These ranks make no sense. How is fried chicken braver than an albatross? I'm so confused. One, one more, <laughs> one more go. This is weirdly addictive. Like it's not a very interesting or well-made game, it's just entertaining for some reason. Okay, legendary bird in the sky, jump and grab. Press the button to fly. What? What? What was that? What was I meant to do there? Okay, miss. Okay, I, no. We'll get it next time. Parachute game? Okay, we've already mastered this from last time. I think I'll stop when it gets boring, when everyone's seen all the games already. We want to stop at around like 700 this time. Maybe we're late, I don't know. Uh, oh, perfect. Yes, that's so good. Okay, legendary parachute. We're, we're getting pretty legendary today. Question 3, the original chicken run 2. Okay, we've done this before, we did this pretty well before. Okay, there's just some jerk who's straddling the the timer for some reason. Also, it goes without saying, but like, don't try this at home. <laughs> and that's why. <laughs> um, the cars just like gently nick each other and then just burst straight into flames. Okay, so we've got a negative score there. Minus one three five. We're albatross again. Okay, I want to see if I can get anything lower than my first attempt. And if I can't, then we'll go to the next game. Hi! Okay. That was pretty premature. We didn't get as close as last time. 7,000, still decent, I guess. Okay, next one, Mount Fuji Dive 2. What makes it the second one? It's just the same as the first one. Oh, so he stops hitting the altitude, okay. I'm guessing this is correct. <laughs> and there's just <laughs> holes of failure up in your left and right. Okay, we got 5,000, that's a decent score. If we don't fail this one, I think we'll do pretty well. Pull the juice pot spilling, alright. This is a weird container. It's gonna go really fast the second it gets thin. Oh no, we spilled it. Oh, they have to add ice cubes. Okay, I didn't see that coming. That wasn't fair. Starbirds played me just there. Okay, so we're gonna have like 3,000 points. Come on. Raw egg rice. Take an egg, some rice, and the rest is history. I've actually never tried that. Because I get really paranoid about raw eggs, but I know in anime they, they have it a lot, right? They cook rice so it's really hot, and they crack an egg on it, and they add, like, spices and scallions and stuff, and they mix it in. And I'm sure it's tasty, I just don't trust raw egg. It's my... yeah, it's just what I've grown up with. How long has it been 
for me to play this. It's been like 12 minutes. Okay, one more go. One more go. <laughs> Crocodile Zoo. Attract the monster, aiming to get the food. Oh, yep, so this is the one where you just duck. This is easy. This is fine. The second one's way harder because you need to look from both sides. Oh, it's a little miniature crocodile. Oh, there's... Missed. It's like a human centipede crocodile. Don't Google that. Okay, T sushi time attack. Eat as much as you can. Pay for with your money. Oh, so this is like a real life applicable game right now. Okay. So you just keep eating and then you leave behind what you can't eat. Are you meant to not eat the really expensive ones? Oh, and now they don't have prices anymore. Oh, and the guys have covered up your wallet too. Those two are cheap. Tango goes cheap. Crab is expensive. That's probably cheap. Okay. Oh, no, I see red already. Okay. Negative 120. That's reasonable. That's like 100 yen over. Is basically nothing. <laughs> we get arrested by the FBI for overspending 120 yen. What a country. Question three. So we're just pouring juice again. Okay. Good old Starbird's juice. That was a pretty bad pour too. That's gonna be like 5,000 points. Oh, 2,000 points. Quite legs. We've got hidden potential. Oh my goodness. Oh, so we unlocked all the games. Oh no. That's actually really bad because... I didn't want to show all of them in case anyone wanted to buy it, but yeah, I got too hooked on this one. There's actually not that many games, huh? Because in the considerate game, they, they said there was a hundred, and I showed you guys 50 of them, I mean 25 of them. And this one is only like 19 games. Well, okay, I guess we won't see any more of this one. Okay, welcome back. This is probably going to be the last game for today. I think? How long have we been going for? We've been going for about half an hour. Okay, this will take about 15 minutes. This game is called Not Not, and it will destroy your mind, because it is one of those games that destroys your mind. Excellent, Rahab. This is just excellent content. Um, we're gonna go classic mode, and you can play, I think, multiplayer and f even four player with this game. We're just gonna go for the, uh, the first few levels to show what this game is about. It's just a quick thinking game. It's interesting for about 10 minutes, and then you never want to try it again, so... <laughs> first level is called The Beginning, and you use your D-pad and bot. Okay, no one saw that. No one saw that. You can either use your face buttons or your d-pad, and you want to go towards the light. You want to follow their instructions before the timer runs out. That was a demonstration. That wasn't me messing up. That was a demonstration. Okay. Okay, let's go. Up. Down. Left. Right. Right. Left. Down. Right. Down. Right. Okay, so this level doesn't have secrets anymore, which means we completed it fully. Now, I'm sure you're thinking, what could make this game interesting? What could make it fun? Well, let's see this one. There's 20 steps here. And... Look. Not up, so anything but up. Left. 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 Not right. Not left. Not down. Left. Left, not right, down, no! <laughs> you see, your brain just wrecks you because you think you know what you're doing and then you don't. Uh, yeah, that happens. But you have lives, you have like three lives each level and down, left, up, up, left, up. Not left, not left, 
down. Right. Okay, that was the second level of this game. And look at how many levels there are, man. There's so many levels. I haven't even completed half of them. But, yeah, so it it's a great party game because, especially after you've got a few people over and everyone's really competitive, it it's really fast-paced and it's very easy to fail, which is exactly what you want in a party game. Now, we're going to skip the void because I think that one's about not-not. And so we're going to go straight to the colorist, which is about directions and colors. So now it gets really complicated. Green. Red. Right. Right. Not left. Up. Up. So it's getting faster too. Not up. Up. Nothing. Green. 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 Not green. They, they lull you into a false sense of security sometimes. They make a few in a row, and then they do the opposite of that. Right? Blue. Green. Not green. See, they, 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 they're crafty like that. But it's all also randomly generated, so you can't practice. You can't do the same level over and over again and do the same thing. Okay, so we actually perfected that. Wow. While I was talking too. This is what I mean when I said in that let's play I did a while back that I play better when I talk because I can talk through my choices and it makes a bit of difference. So this one, the logical, I don't actually remember what it was about, but I want to move on to the more difficult levels without um, missing some of the mechanics. Okay, so up or down. Oh, so there's or, so yellow and up. Not nothing, not up. So it's like coding language now, because it's got ands and ors. This is getting pretty confusing. Yellow, not yellow. Yellow or nothing, <laughs> green. Left or yellow, oh. This hurts my head, green or blue. <laughs> Left, yellow enough. Blue or up, nothing. Blue, right or yellow, nothing. Red or up, up and red, right. Left or yellow, up and green, okay. We did pretty good in that. I thought that would be way harder because you need to think about words and sentences, okay. So the color blind, I don't remember what this was about. I'll try the hard one because you need to finish a few of each difficulty to unlock the next step. So if I was to beat the impossible, I'm not, I might not actually unlock that one. So okay, let's try this. The color blind. Not not red. <laughs> that means red. Yellow or green. Not not down. Oh, I understand why. It's because the... The hints come in their own colors too, so they sneakily influence your brain to think, oh, you should pick this color. It's interesting, it's like psychological. You can play along at home if you want. Not on blue. Not on green. What? <laughs> Sometimes you'll die and you don't even know why you died. <laughs> okay, not on green, which means green. Not on red, which means red. Not on green, which means green! This is actually really hard. Okay, I'm, I'm sure I can beat it though. Not on green is green. That's nothing. Left. Right. Okay. Let's try this again. Green. Right and... What? Green. Green. Not blue. Not not blue. Not not down. Left. Not not left. Not right. Right. Okay, it's getting safer now. Yep. Not not nothing is my favorite, because you don't have to do anything. Right and green. Not not green or right. Okay. Not left. Right. 
Not not red. Oh, it's terrifying now. Not not green. What? Oh. Okay. We've got 20 steps and we have 3 lives. I think we can beat this. I think we can beat this. It's green. Not left. Not not left. Not not right. Not not left. Okay, we're doing well. Not nothing. Blue and not not blue. Not not right. Not not red. No! Out of all the games we played today, I think I hate this one the most. <laughs> Let's continue. I think we can do 12. We can definitely do 12. Not not down. Not on nothing. Nothing. Not on green. Not on blue. Not on red. Not on red. Not on yellow. Not on red. Yellow. Not on green. Yes! Oh, I'm so happy. And also so angry at the same time. Oh, I'm so stressed. Okay. We're gonna try this one called The Impossible. And I don't think we're gonna unlock the missing door because I need to get 16 levels beat, which means I need to beat three more levels. I need to finish three extreme levels. I'm not doing that today. Uh, there's no there's no way I'm finishing that today. So let's see if we can do the impossible. And if we can't, maybe we'll move on to the lot. Maybe we'll move on to one more game because I'm in a terrible mood right now. <laughs> this game has put me in such a bad mood. Okay, the impossible. We've got 30 to go. How? What do we do here? Blue. What? You guys saw that? There was no blue. <laughs> there was no blue on that. Okay. Maybe if you can't do it, you just stay still. I think that's what this is trying to teach you to do. Blue, and there's no blue, so you just stay still. Okay. Why did I why why did I die? Right and left. So if it's impossible to go both right and left, you're meant to stay still. I'm so angry right now. I hate this game so much. Why did I decide to show this game on, on Let's Play? It's I'm so angry. Oh my goodness. <sighs> okay. Breathe in, breathe out. We can do this. So blue... I think the first few are predetermined, so you know what to do. Down, down, okay, not up, green, green, not green, damn it! Okay, not green, right or red, possible, down and not up, oh that hurts, right and not blue. I'm so angry. Nothing. Blue and down. Left. Left and not right. Red and blue. Right. Left. Nothing. Green. Down. Green. Red and blue. Green and blue. Oh, you thought you were going to get me there, huh? You thought you were going to get me. Not up. Not blue. And up and not red. Yes, we win! We did it! Let's never play this game again. This game is called Not Not. It is, I think, like two bucks in the Switch eShop, and I only recommend it if you want to hate everything. Okay, we're gonna go to the next game. <laughs> Speaking of hating everything, here's... Clock Simulator! <laughs> okay, I joke about this game a lot. I think I've included it in my best of 2019 list, even though it may have come out in 2018. Just because this game is so interesting to think about. It's not, not an incredible game, no. And is it interesting? Only for a little while. But I was thinking, look, if we did three really tiny funny games, then this deserves to be on that list. If you use your Switch as a party game console and you want to annoy people, then Not Not is a great game for that, but Clock Simulator is way better. Now. Let's do learn to play, and we'll do a few game modes, and we'll quit because I'm sure I've made everyone hate video games for the rest of their life already. So learn to play. You are the clock. Advance every second. Be precise. And yep, so you're the clock. You press the button on every second. And because of this capture device, there's a slight delay in my button presses. So this game is making me even more 
angry than I normally would be. But once you get into the rhythm of it, it's actually kind of relaxing if you think about it, because it forces you to focus very closely on one thing. And it's very difficult for me to talk and play at the same time, because, you know, you, it's, it's like mindfulness, right? You need to focus on directly what's in front of you. And then after a while, your peripherals just kind of melt away. You stop being aware of what's around you and the other things you're thinking about because this one task is challenging enough to force you to think about nothing but the task. And you're starting to notice now that my clock hand is getting much shorter because I've been screwing up. And the more you screw up, the smaller you get. And once you wither to nothingness, you lose. And I've never learned if this is true or not, but you see the way the shadows are moving around the clock? I don't know if that helps you. Speaking of which, we died. Okay, so I'm going to play a few different games because there's a lot of game modes in this one. First one I'll do is a game of shadows, which is just like the regular clock game. But now this time you don't have the indicator, so you just gotta do it with your internal clock. Let's see how that goes. By the way, it's just, I'm not cheating, I don't have a clock on me. Not that it'll look like it because I'll fail very fast, but you know, just, just being honest here. Let's go. It feels like I'm doing it right. The only way to know if you're screwing up is that when you're approaching those dots, your clock hand should be directly touching it, which means if it's less than that, then you've lost some of your length. And you can also just kind of see yourself getting shorter if you screw up too. Okay, this looks like half my life gone. Maybe even more than that. At least we beat a minute. That's usually my goal when I play this mode, is just beat a minute. I think I'm screwing up every click now though, because I keep getting shorter. Can we do 90 seconds? You know, I'm just realizing as I'm playing this, this is gonna be the least interesting game to watch in the world. There has not been a single game that's more boring to Let's Play than this one. Okay, we've got 1 minute 38. Okay, do I even want to play another game mode? Or is this just so horribly boring? Okay, I think we'll skip things like the piggy games because those are actually very similar to not not. It's just like press the button to the right time. And Dungeons and Aliens is the same thing. You want to either shoot the alien or hit the monster in the same way. The only one that I will play is A Minute of Perfection, because I try this every now and then. I think that it's not going to be that hard, and it is extremely hard. You get a minute to be completely perfect, and I've tried every strategy. I've tried um, doing it while listening to a metronome. I've tried doing it while listening to Kesha's TikTok, which is, if you didn't know, that's exactly 160 BPM. So you hit it every time on the downbeat and it should be theoretically 60 seconds. And even with the power of Kesha, I was not able to get a perfect minute. So I'm gonna try my best for this one minute, full concentration, and we'll see how we go. No. So yeah, every mistake you make appears on the clock forever. And you can't erase it. 
which is a really great metaphor for just life in general, really, is like, if you make a mistake, trying to go back and fix that mistake is only going to cause more mistakes in the future. All you can do is just recapture your rhythm and just ensure that you do the best you can for the rest of the challenge. You can't dwell on one particular mistake. You just need to make sure your future doesn't have the same mistake again. That was vaguely coherent, right? That was like kind of good life advice. And I'm doing way better than I thought I would. Usually I get like 20. I got 40, that's crazy. You'll see my best is 57. That was my TikTok run. That was my uh, the best I could do with cheating. So getting 40 is actually pretty admirable. I'm gonna try it one more time and then I think I might just cut the recording here because I think I've inflicted enough suffering on everybody watching the <laughs> Let's Play. I don't know if anyone's gonna be sticking around next year because of what I've done today. Yeah, it's weirdly calming. Because you know with Not Not, it, it's a game which by its mechanics makes you very angry, right? And this game is one that forces you to slow down, calm down, take it easy. A minute is always a little bit long, I mean a second is always a little bit longer than you think it's going to be. So you just stop and pace yourself. And just like before, every time I try this game mode, I get worse with my subsequent attempts. Okay, that's 39. The last one was 40. And now it's all downhill from here. So we're going to cut our losses while we're ahead. Thanks so much for sticking around. I hope you have a wonderful holidays. Definitely pick up one of these stupid party games if you're going to a gathering of friends who you would like to annoy because this is what I like about the Switch. It's full of these weird indie titles that are very small. They all cost like two or three dollars. And they're interesting, you know? You want to talk about them. It creates some kind of weird emotional attachment that I even rarely get from AAA titles nowadays. So that's the four games we look at today. We looked at uh, Consider It. I've forgotten what the Japanese title to that game is already. I'm sorry, but it's called Consider It. Um, then we looked at Toreidan Brave Challenge, then we looked at Not Not, and then we looked at Clock Simulator. Four games, if you buy all four together, I think it's probably less than $15. And yeah, enjoy annoying your friends at parties. Have a wonderful holidays, everyone.